You know, I tell you, I really enjoyed performing for the troops. After working with Ron White on the Salute to the Troops, I got to go to 35 bases in the U.S. and uh, perform for our men and women. And uh, I gotta say, there's no more appreciative crowd than a military crowd. I think the biggest laugh that I ever got was I got to uh, insult a three-star general in front of everyone. The general came in late and I stopped the show. I said, hey man, I bet you get pissed when other people show up to your shit late. And uh, the room pretty much melted. It was uh, the biggest laugh I've ever gotten. I love uh, supporting the troops. Obviously, I didn't join the military. And here are some jokes about that. Welcome back to Ron White's Comedy Salute to the Troops. The next guy is a very popular comedian from Denver, and he drove here from Colorado, so he's also very popular backstage. So, uh, <laughs> if you know what I mean. You can get his Showtime specials, Sticky Change, on Netflix. Ladies and gentlemen, he's his own bobblehead, Josh Blue. Thank you, all right. I know a lot of you looking at me like, I hope that guy didn't drive anywhere. I thought the first performer had cerebral palsy. I don't know what this is. I'm really happy to be here. In fact, you know how happy I am? I'm as happy as two horrible musicians on a Geico commercial. <laughs> Wish I was half as happy as those two. <laughs> I, uh, I live in Denver, Colorado, and uh, I know people are excited. Oh yeah, we legalized weed, but uh, I wanted you guys to know I've been treating it like it was legal for years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to be here. Um, uh, it's an honor to, uh, you know, get to perform for the troops. You know, I've, uh, I obviously never joined the military for, well, have a look. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what I did is I actually was a member of the U.S. Paralympic National Soccer Team. <laughs> <laughs> wow, where were you guys at the games? <laughs> Could have used those 28 claps. <laughs> I know a lot of you maybe don't even know what the Paralympics are. Uh, it's the Olympics for people with physical disabilities. It's the uh, second largest sporting event on the planet. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, second only to the uh, able-bodied Olympics. <laughs> oh yeah, it must be tough running with two legs, huh? <laughs> Ain't nothing but punk bitches to us. I love being on that team, it was amazing. I got to go to eight different countries representing the U.S. And uh, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're laughing because you don't know how I represented you or? <laughs> oh no. I, uh, I, was, uh, I got to go to the 04 Paralympics in Athens, Greece. And I actually was trying to go to the last Summer Olympics in London, but unfortunately I got cut for doping. <laughs> Wasn't performance enhancing. <laughs> I thought I should have got a medal for being able to play in that condition. <laughs> I love being on that team, man. It was amazing. I got to hang out with other physically disabled dudes. And, uh, you know, we've all been through some of the same BS. So we got really comfortable with each other. We got so comfortable, we came up with this game 
where we would see who could hold open their messed up hand longer. <laughs> like, ready, go. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, gosh. Uh, uh, oh, damn it. All right. Good game. Good game. <laughs> I've got you next time. <laughs> One thing I really miss about the team is uh, traveling with everybody. Because to me, there's nothing more entertaining than watching 12 dudes with cerebral palsy get off an airplane in a row. <laughs> Everybody in the terminal thinks there's some type of zombie invasion going on. <laughs> He's a goalie. <laughs> I could do all 12 if you need me to. None of us really walk like that. We just like jacking around, you know. <laughs> See how far through customs we can get. <laughs> Last one tased loses. <laughs> I don't like that game. <laughs> that team is awesome, man. Well, not on the field, but <laughs> we got our asses kicked by everybody, man. It just wasn't fair. We were playing against Russia and Ukraine and like those countries, they get to practice twice a day and uh, we didn't do that. <laughs> They're so good. I've been playing against them, watching them play like I'm a spectator, like, oh man. Huh. Well, that was a great pass, wow. Huh? They're so good, I've been playing against them, just looking at the team like, well, there's nothing even wrong with that guy right there. <laughs> I call BS number five, man. <laughs> Better get a neurologist up in here. <laughs> Then I run by, be like, oh man, his hands on backward. All right. <laughs> hey, you guys, uh, I just want to say uh, I feel very fortunate that I'm able to come up here and make people laugh. You know, I feel like uh, the world gave me lemonade and I drank that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you. Same here. Me and my Labradoodle. <laughs> Labradoodle. <laughs>